Okay, folks. I figured it's time that I strip down this old unknown LCD television before I scrap it. Uh, as I just said, I don't know what brand it is. I don't know where it came from or why they've botched it up like this. There's no plugs or anything on it. It's all hardwired. Um, there's masking tape holding the power socket in. There's no markings on this end plate here, which has been hand filed to shoot suit. This is all handmade. It's almost like it's a prototype or something. This is not a production television. I'd say they've taken generic components, maybe a surplus LCD panel and fascia and other crap, and just built one out of scrap, really. Unfortunately, they've smashed the panel, so I can't even really test it. It does flash up momentarily and then die. Uh, looks like Chinese or something on it. Yeah, made in China. Power supplies model MLT092A. Uh, PCB. Heat sink on there. What is it? Zuguring Tech. Something like that. It's all Chinese shit by the looks of it. I don't even know if I'll bother keeping these as spare parts. Might as well just throw the whole damn thing in the bin. The markings on the back of the panel there. High voltage, do not remove. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll start pulling some bits off it and see what else I can find. Okay, well, I'm pretty much convinced that this is a one-off, custom-made television. Probably a prototype, and probably the only one of its kind. Um, the board's a generic Chinese driver board. It's got points for various other sockets which aren't being used. Uh, obviously speaker outputs, all soldered together. And generic speaker terminals that you buy at J-Car Electronics or one of those places. It's a very crudely made control thing in there, it's all hot glued in. Very crudely stuffed into place and glued. Uh, that's the panel driver under there. I don't know what kind of panel they're using yet. The, uh, Conductive or semi-conductive masking tape is a lousy thing to put on an AC socket. And that comes down here. And that's the power supply. Everything's just soldered on and hot glued. Same with the AC power. Okay, well I've sacrificed this board just for the sake of the investigation. Uh, chip sets on it are Digi Show. This one here is Digishow Sun Plus SPV-7030A And this one here is Digishow Sun Plus uh, SPV-516B-HL091 Samsung memory chip by the looks of it a speaker or something there. Audio drivers. These aren't even glued down so they can vibrate all they like. Very lousy design attribute. Uh, analog tuner. Phillips. TDAIC. And that's the maker of the power supply. It's funny how they didn't even bother using snap-on connectors, they just hardwired it all. Okay, well much of the sheet metal on this is handmade or modified from factory. Most of these holes have been hand filed and scraped out. The standoffs have all been glued in and they still turn. This thing here looks factory made. Like, probably made in China and shipped with the panel but they've still adapted it by crushing these points to make it fit. It's actually broken that away. That's aluminium. Okay, that's the make of the panel with the chai mode. Uh, that name rings a bell for me because I was in injection moulding for a while and we used to get our ABS compounds from them. Chai mode plastics or something like that. Chai mode chemical. And Chai may also supply chemicals and components for making LCD panels. So naturally, that one's made in Taiwan, not China. 
also a nice little warning about the mercury content of the cold, cath cold cathode lamps that's sort of fair enough and I've got to get into this control panel here so it's there look like cold cathode connections all the way across ok well this is the data and power input for the uh, panel all these wires here are taped off that one's just floating around in space, same with that one there. They've used masking tape, not even not even electrical tape. And masking tape is not a bloody electrical insulator. They're all floating around and so are their partners on the other end. That must be power or something. Spliced it a couple of times. And these are the driver boards, all high voltage outputs cold cathode lamps or something a bit different to the other LCDs that I've seen like laptop screens usually just have one at the top or one at maybe one at the top and one at the bottom and that's about it but this one's here it's heaps I don't know what's going on here same with the bottom ok well that's the bare panel I have to take out half a million screws and try and take it apart. All that back, backlighting, obviously. Got all those different connectors. Okay, time to take this lot apart. Ah, for God knows how many screws. Must be out of frame. Still hanging on a little bit. see where it connects to the actual panel there that's the panel, everything behind it's backlight by the looks of it I'll unscrew these little boards here and see what else can come off ok now this is the LCD panel that's all you're really watching the rest of this is backlighting as you can see all the cracks it's been smashed in the junk bin. That's the LCD panel. Not big, but very good. Hmm. Poor old thing. See the goo in between the glass pieces. Yeah, there it is. Liquid crystal. Probably not very healthy, but who cares? You only live once. Oh, it's a 42 inch LCD. <laughs> What's left of it? Well, we're getting into the illumination board. That's the first layer. User or something. Or plastic sheet. Another one there. The diffuser. Another one. Pretty good plastic. Must be mylar or something. Oh. Huh. These are the backlight tubes. That one's busted. But the rest of them seem to be intact. Pretty impressive backlight. Hmm, I might keep this one and have a quick play around with it. Little standoffs to protect them. That one there's been punched back through and it's busted that. Interesting. Oh, well, that pretty much concludes the LCD disassembly. I might hang on to this panel for a while. Uh, thanks for watching.